Alright, hello everybody, welcome back to more Let's Play The Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time. In the last part, we uh, got this bad boy, Shing! Sparkle, sparkle. And in this episode, we are going to everyone's favorite temple. The Water Temple. I've been dreading it for so long now. I'm dreading doing this for like so, so long. <laughs> You guys have no idea. People literally hate this dungeon with a burning passion. How about that? I actually have to go shoot that with a bow and arrow to get that to open. Yeah, it definitely showcases how much of a, of a great dungeon is if you can't even enter it from the start. That just definitely shows you a good sign of things to come. Are you serious? That doesn't actually work. Wait, what? Uh, okay, how am I supposed to open that then? Uh, this might be a problem, guys. Oh, there we go. I don't know why that wasn't working before. There we got her. Now we gotta go into everyone's favorite dungeon. <laughs> the water temple. Yeah, you know how bad this temple is? When even Shakira Miyamoto, the guy who makes all these games, even he regretted the water temple's design. Yeah, that's just a great sign of things to come. First off, I have to constantly take in and off and on these stupid iron boots. Which is already kind of a pain. Oh, this place will get so confusing. I actually got lost in here a couple of times every time I play this game. I always get lost in this dungeon. Trust me, it's not just me. Like, people who love Zelda. Like, people who actually, you know, stay, you know, people who played this game so often. Like, people claim this was probably their favorite game of all time. Even they can admit this temple is garbage. Oh god, no, it's Princess Rudo. That little b-word we had to save way back when in like Lord Jabu Jabu's stomach. She's like, oh, you, if I'm right, Link. You're Link, aren't you? It's me, your fiancé, Ruto, Princess of the Zoras. Yes, I was eating Burger King when I went to your little dungeon. I never forgot the vows we made from each other seven years ago. You're a terrible man for having to keep me waiting for all these seven years, seven long years. But now is not the time to talk about love. I'm sure you've already seen it, Zora's domain totally, is totally frozen. A young man named Sheik saved me from under the ice. But my father and the other Zoras have not yet. I want to save them all. I want to save Zora's domain. You, you have to help me. This is a request from me and the woman who is going to be your wife. Link, you have to help me destroy the, the evil monster in the temple, okay? Inside the water temple, there are three places where you can find and change the water level. I'll lead the way. Follow me quickly. Not me, pizza, but yeah. You know what I find ironic about her saying that is? You don't actually have to follow her at all. Yes, yeah, I'm not kidding. You don't actually ever meet her again in this temple. <laughs> yeah, so that's just lazy. Wee! I'm going up higher in this crappy, crappy temple. Also, as you notice, those are, uh, the Triforce, which means you have to use Zelda's Lullaby. Da -da -da -da. To change the water level down. And trust me, you'll be doing this a lot later, later on in this temple.
Ah. There we go. Tucking them all out. That door opens, and we get a treasure chest. Ooh, what could it be? What's in this bad boy? Oh my god, I can't wait to see what's in here. Oh boy! Lincoln puts it up in slow motion, and... I got a little map! Ah, good pizza. Ooh, I need the bow and arrow to open that door. There we go, that should open her up. Ah, you stupid, stupid clam. Oh. Ha, I got him. Oh, I got hit. You see why I like having this long sword out? Yeah, I find it sad knowing the fact that the Gorons of all the races could actually make a better sword than the and the goddesses of Hyrule, I find that very ironic. Open this up, and we get... I got a small key. Alright, sweet. Let's go into here. Now let's go out here. And yeah, trust me, this place will get very confusing. I have my shield up. How did that hit me? Full freaking crab. That should not have hit me. That's right. I, uh. While carrying this, I don't actually have my shield. Am I going this go on? Hold on. Oh, it's just a. Oh! Wow, I'm kind of checking my phone. You're attacking me. You're, you're, wow, what a cheap skate. Wow, what a cheap shot. I'm just kind of looking around the place, so if I ever get lost in this place, I will definitely cut ahead of me successfully getting it done because trust me, this place is really hard. Yeah, I find that ironic in every water level, any time there's a water level in any video game, people are going to absolutely hate it. Seriously, after with, with this game, Mother 3, that un really annoying water level, and yes, I actually got it on my, uh, and yes, if you guys have watched my videos, you know I did that unboxing that I got it, the English copy of it, well, the translation one. By the way, if there's some leaks that, uh, Mother 3 might come out of the virtual console, if that comes out of the virtual console, I will definitely download and let's do a Let's Play of it, because that was a really amazing game. Uh, that's my main thing I learned from this temple, was to always explore before you did anything. Make sure to check every room, because trust me, this place is very long and it's very hard. That's something I've always noticed about Zelda games now. I mean, when you play the original Legend of Zelda, the dungeons were actually, the dungeons were actually really, really, really short. And when you play the, the new ones, they're like really long, like super long, so I just thought that was sort of interesting. The only one that was so much well, it actually was short was the was the, was the Deku Tree, which actually were like, that was like a long time ago. That was like part two. I believe when the great Deku died in my let's play of this game. So yeah, let's raise the water level here. Ah, did you see Felza tell me? <laughs> oh my god, okay, that was funny. <laughs> okay, I well, remember that was actually really funny. <laughs> I can't believe you did that one to tell me. <laughs> Hold on, guys, TJ's coming in here. Oh, 
Sorry about that, Teeps coming in here. Anyways, let's go right here. And now I'm gonna try to see if I can hit that. I got it, yeah! Ha ha! Ha ha, I can just run right over you jerks. Okay, let's get up here. Let's open this up, and what do we got? Another small key, okay. Oh, I gotta hit this again. All right, there we go. Let's get this one on. And then we're gonna take the iron boots off. And let's keep going. Now let's get out of this place. Uh, now I wish the dungeon was over that easily, no. Trust me, you still got a little bit to go. You still have a long ways to go before you're done with this temple. Oh, the music here is kind of cool, I will admit. I do kind of like the music here. But still. Trust me, this is not a, uh, a fun place to be. Trust me, I remember I hated this temple when I first played this game. When I was like 13, when I was living at my grandma's house, I remember I actually absolutely hated this temple. But yeah, I actually like love the fire one, so yeah. It definitely does showcase how much that like, even a little me knew, knew how terrible this place actually was. And trust me, I was the same little idiot who, uh... Man, am I supposed to get out? Oh, you gotta be joking. I gotta... You see why people hate this place so much? Cause like, look at all the backtracking I have to do just to get out of this stupid area. Let's get off the iron boots. Come on, I saw an accident there for a second. The iron boots. Now I can climb up this giant tower that's in the middle of this dungeon. Don't know why. Will me again. No, no. Win. Okay, I'm sorry. Uh, I'm pretty sure a lot of people will get that reference. <laughs> that reference to that one song. Come on, Gravity Falls. Just a little bit of a hand. I'm pretty sure a lot of you can catch on right there. Let's get up here. Alright, that Triforce now, to me, anytime I look at the Triforce now, I'm always gonna think that looks like Bill Cipher. <laughs> Whoa! Oh, crap. Oh, there. Then I can open that door anytime I want to. I they have like a southern accent now. It's so weird. Now, what is up here is what I want to know. Aha! Secret door! We am riding up the water. <laughs> Did you see that? <laughs> when I get up there, I get hit already. <laughs> okay, that was pretty funny. <laughs> Alright, I want to go up there. I want to reach that water level just yet. Oh, I can't go through that door with the weird looking eye yet. So here is what I want to know.
Sometimes my camera stand just kind of bugs me. I'm gonna cut out in the beginning. Okay. Sorry, I'm trying to get a better angle of my TV because my camera stand is being ridiculous. There we go. Just pull a little bit, and man, there we go. Good to go. Oh man, this is tough. <laughs> Oh wow, wow, wait, you mean enough time to get the treasure chest, you douchebags? Oh wait, I know, I remember now how to do this. Let me try being up here when I do it. That's why I thought this would be kind of funny. I, uh, yes, I am literally standing on top of the treasure chest. <laughs> I thought it was just kind of funny I had to do that. Also, Chuck, I finally got your dream to come true. I got to actually stand on top of the treasure chest and what did it sell the game? If you don't, if you don't get that joke, go watch um, Chuck and Conroy's uh, Wind Waker Let's Play. It was one of the funniest Let's Plays I've seen on YouTube. Oh, there we go, there we go, there we go. Come on, baby, what is it? Come on, baby. Give me something good, give me something good, give me something good. Oh, compass, not bad, not bad. No, uh, that wasn't too bad, okay. You see why you want to, see why you want to explore every area of this place, just to make sure you got everything. I don't think there's anything else I can do on this floor, so I guess I might as well walk. Go raise the water level. Alright. And the water level's getting raised. <laughs> Aw, douchebag! I thought I killed you! How are you back? I'm gonna keep hopping up there, jerk. So is he actually running that down? <laughs> okay, <laughs> the way I can... Oh my god. Uh, why is there so many glitches in this game? I swear, I've been playing for it. Oh, I'm, I'm getting so many glitches in this game, it's actually kind of funny. <laughs> Like, I've never seen any of this stuff at, ever actually around when I usually play it. I mean, granted, I come across, come, come across a glitch or two, but it's never this bad. <laughs> Anyways, we raised the water level again. Now we can go explore the top part of the place. I first want to try out over here. Don't you come near me. Oh, I think that's the entrance to this place. I think it's actually right over here, I think, is where I want to go. Pull her out here. And now I can actually leave this place. Well, I can't really leave the temple yet. I haven't actually gotten to the boss yet. That would be way too short of a temple. I would, would actually be nice to actually have a short water temple. It's like Shikimo. Yeah, Shikimo and Mimoto just like, yep, yeah, there you go. That's your water temple. You're done. That's actually where the boss is. And I need another key. You see how people hate this one? As I was saying, do you see why people hate this place so much? Because now I'm lost. 
I'm lost. I'm a lost toy. Oh boy. You see why this place might take me a while? Because this place is like so, like super confusing on where to go. Uh. <laughs> you see why I hate this temple so, so much? Actually, I think I might actually have a... I think I might actually know where this uh, key might be. The key that I need... Oh, sorry, I don't actually have to come... You see why I really hate this dungeon? It's so confusing. Why? How is the fire back up? What? That doesn't make any sense. Game? Oh, I think I could actually blow this up, actually. Let me try that. Let's see if I can actually blow it up. I'm gonna... Wow, I feel kind of stupid now that I didn't actually notice I could do that. Anyways. Iron boots, go! Down. Wait, no, no. Oh, down, down, down to the bottom of the sea, where SpongeBob friends and his pet Snow Gary. Down, down, down. I don't know how you know I'm singing the song correctly. Anyway, let's get off the uh, cross, the, uh, the hookshot, and that, and it is, the hookshot, and the hookshot is uh, one of my favorite uh, Zelda items of all time, I actually really love the, the hookshot, it's going to be a very useful item. Uh, I don't think I can get in there yet, can I? 